At the start of the project, in most projects I joined with, one of the activities shall be implemented or started first as excavation. You may copy this method statement and submit to the engineer but please take a while to read your specification first as this may differ from it and revision will be needed. 1. Scope 1.1 This method statement describes a proper work procedure shall be carried out during the excavation stage as per specification and contract drawings. 2. References 2.1 General Specification, Excavation and Earthworks 3. Materials 3.1 Natural Soil 4. Tools and Equipment Excavator pay loader JCB 6 or 10 wheel truck bobcat shovel total station meter tape 5. Work procedure. 5.1 Site preparation. 5.1.1 Existing services company construction team would conduct an investigation and acquire information about site services that might have been placed, embedded below the ground. Services, wherever found shall be rerouted and protected to place will not affect site activities. 5.1.2 Setting out, company, surveyor would conduct the site survey to mark, stake out the lines and levels of the objective excavation for foundations as indicated in the approved drawing. 5.2 Excavation 5.2.1 The area to be excavated shall be properly marked and clear before starting the works. 5.2.2 The depth of excavation shall be periodically checked by a surveyor to avoid over-excavation. The bank of the excavated area shall be sloped 30 degrees and shall be maintained to avoid a collapse of the bank into the excavated area. 5.2.3 All excavated material shall be kept a minimum of 1.0 meter from the edge of excavation or shall be stockpiled to the area designated by the engineer. 5.2.4 For all excavation activities, adequate safety barriers, sign boards, advance warning signs would be used. 5.2.5 For foundation, as soon as the excavation reaches the required depth elevation the surface shall be leveled and shall be compacted to 95% of maximum dry density or MDD. 5.2.6 Before the compaction starts, it shall make sure that the excavated level is free from standing water or excessive moisture content. 5.2.7 Inspection would be conducted during compaction for checking and approval of the engineer. 5.2.8 The compaction test report shall be submitted to the engineer for approval prior to proceeding to succeeding work. 5.2.9 Anti-termite treatment would be conducted prior to start blinding works but make sure the anti-termite material is approved by the engineer. 5.3 Backfilling work. 5.3.1 After completion of the compaction under blinding, tie beams and ground slab. Backfilling shall commence using similar excavated material. Care shall be taken to remove boulder, vegetations and any other deleterious materials. 5.3.2 But prior to backfilling, the compacted surface shall be accepted by the engineer. 5.3.3 The thickness of the backfill shall not be greater than 300 mm. 5.3.4 The subgrade once approved, the excavated materials or any material source approved by the engineer shall be placed in layers not more than 300 mm thick followed by compaction test when the surface level is ready. 5.3.5 In situ dry density test, compaction test shall be performed at the rate indicated in the specification. 5.3.6 Backfilling followed with compaction shall continue till the final level is achieved. 6. Safety. 6.1 All works shall comply with safety procedure or instruction as set out in project safety plan and municipality rules and regulation. 6.2 Basic personal protective equipment PPE, shall be worn by all staff or laborers. 6.3 Trained operator or banksman shall be engaged to control or operate heavy equipment machines. 7. Quality assurance approval. 7.1 Project quality plan 7.2 Inspection and test plan 7.3 Project HSE plan enjoyed watching. Please subscribe. Thank you.